Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and by the end of this video we will have an aiming animation which is going to be replicated across the network and also we will be able to shoot bullets really fast with our assault rifle. Also I have a small announcement to make. Uh, we are closing in on 5000 subscribers. It's just right next door. What I wanted to tell you is once I hit 5000 subscribers I will have a download link available for free to everyone uh, to download this specific project for from these inventory and crafting system tutorial series. But you must be a member in my discord. It's completely free. Link is down in the description box. Join in and once I hit 5000 subscribers the download link is going to be up for 24 hours hours so don't be late so in the previous video i forgot to add one variable to our inventory structure and that is going to be our fire rate so in our s inventory structure let's add a new variable let's call this fire rate let's make this into a float value because that's what a delay uses so we're going to use that one and now in our items database only for our automatic weapons we can set this value and for my rifle i'm going to set this to be 0.08 I believe that's a good value. You might have to experiment with this a little bit. And once we have that out of the way, we can go to our third person character where we actually have the shooting happening. And for me, in my case, this is on mouse left button. So over here, what I'm going to do is first I will add a new variable to our character. And let's add a variable and I'm going to call this, let's see, is shooting perhaps would be a good variable name. And that's going to be a Boolean value. Uh, right now I don't plan on replicating this but maybe in the future we might so let's see first uh, first let's we need to reset the boolean value of our is shooting back to false and that obviously is going to be happening on released so on released left mouse button I'm gonna set this to be false now the next thing that I want to do is well I'm gonna bring this down because I'm gonna open up the inventory structure I'm gonna bring back the server spawn bullet and on true from the if branch check where we check if we are aiming I'm gonna do a sequence so let's do a sequence on this one and then from the first one we're gonna spawn a bullet and from the then one in the sequence I wanna do a delay so let's do a delay and the delay duration is our fire rate so we can connect our fire rate into the delay node then on completion we can do an if branch check and we want to check a couple of things first we want to check if is aiming then we want to add also the is shooting then we can do a and boolean check from this one like so and we need a third condition which also needs to be true and that is whether our weapon is automatic so from our inventory structure let's plug that in now we can collapse this maybe do some small rerouting to make this a little nicer for the eye there we go then the end value can be our condition in the branch check and then from the true route we can go back to our sequence so again I'm gonna do some small rerouting so that is good and now we need to set our is shooting to be true as well so on pressed I will set this to be true the same way we did for the false value it's just that on pressed it's true on released it's false and now if we give this a try in the game everything will work just fine on the server side but the clients uh, so listen So you can see the bullets that are damaging the actor on the left top uh, part of the screen but the sounds don't really match up. You heard two sounds and there was five or six shots. So there is an actually very easy fix for this. What we want to do is where we are multicasting our sound what we need to do is select the event node itself and here on the replicates reliable we want to set this to be true. Uh, what this says is that uh, this so should this event be replicated to all clients when called on the server? Uh, this is something that I don't fully understand because it doesn't it doesn't say anything when we hover over the reliable because the multicast event is exactly what it says over here in this tooltip right here. But I don't fully understand what this reliable does. If you know, leave a comment down below. But what I do know is that when we check that and if we try this once more on the client side, the sounds are what they should be. So that's basically going to be it for the automatic weapons. We can shoot our rifle uh, with rapid fire. 
uh, we are going to add ammunitions to this later on in the series but for this video what I want to focus on is our animations because as of right now our character is looking kind of awkward because it has the same animation when he's aiming when he's not aiming so that part is kind of odd so I will go to my assets folder where I have my character I have my animations and here is my animation blueprint and so in my animation blueprint I want to change a couple of things so on idle move I have my animation for the weapon to be so if I have a pistol so if we select a pistol this is the animation for my pistol well this is not exactly what I'm looking for so what I will actually do is plug in my breathing idle and we need two of these because it does not allow us to connect two of these to the same thing so we can now do this and this is going to be our stationary position when we have a pistol in our hand uh, and well when we are not aiming so i'm going to remove my pistol idle everything else will stay the same in this part right here and what i want to add to this is having the actual aiming animation so i will go to my event graph first because we need a variable from our character so i'm going to drag from the character and i want to get is aiming and since this is a replicated value this is going to replicate our animations properly so we can promote this to a variable inside of our animation blueprint and call this is aiming there we go connect that like so and this is all good for the animation event graph now let's go back to our state machine and what I will do over here is simply move this part back a little bit where we have our bind poses by integer and I will actually duplicate this once more so it would look something like this and now we need a couple of animations for our weapons so first we need a pistol aim animation so I'm gonna go to the assets and inside of here I have my pistol walk animation so let's I'm gonna bring that in and replace that with the pose bind pose one since index one is for the pistol and for the rifle I have my rifle aiming idle I believe is the one so let's plug that in if you're not sure about the animation you can always double click this and you can see so this is the uh, rifle animation and then if we double click our pistol here is the pistol animation and actually instead of having the pistol walk I have this pistol idle which looks way better so now what we want to do next is Simply I want to use a node called blend poses by boolean, uh, the same one we use over here. So over here we want to connect, so let's connect our true. So if we are aiming, we want to go to the bottom one where we have our aiming animations. So I will actually move this up. And then for the false route we want to use the bottom one which is the regular idle animation where we are not aiming then for the condition on the active value we want to drag in our is aiming so that's going to be for the condition to choose which route to take and then we can plug that into our blend poses now what I will do is copy this last bit right here because we want to implement the same thing for our jumping animations as well so we have our jump up animation which basically just simply blends the jump with the top body so we can just copy this in and replace the blend poses zero and uh, yeah basically we can do exactly the same thing for all three of these so it's gonna choose one of the animation states whether we are aiming or whether we are idling so there we go we've connected all of these compile and save this and so what I noticed is we are not replicating our mouse right click so we are never replicating whether we use controller rotation or whether we are aiming so this is giving us some small issues when it comes to animation replication and whether we see or we don't see what is happening uh, with the other characters in which direction they are facing so since I don't really have any functions that would allow me to reuse to replicate the animation variables the only one I have is the drawing one which we need to rebuild since it's not gonna work properly with all the weapons we have as of right now it worked previously with the melee weapons with the pistols it's gonna give us some issues so what I wanna actually do over here is simply have a new custom event let's call this server replicate aim let's call this replicate aim let's make this random server 
and then we also want to provide an input which is going to be a boolean and let's just simply call this value and what i want to do is copy these two variables so is aiming and use controller rotation job so let's plug that in and let's just simply plug the value into both of these boolean values because we want to set both of these to be true or both of these to be false so what we can do is simply remove this bit right here and we can just from the press we can server replicate aim well this gave us a new parameter uh, message because we don't we didn't recompile so if we compile this now it gives us an error so we have to delete it recompile so that this thing gets compiled and then we can server replicate aim so if you ever get this issue that the uh, variable name is not correct then that means delete this node recompile it and it's going to be all good and also probably right clicking and refreshing the node would help as well but i'm just used to deleting and adding a new one since that's that's not big of a deal so we want to do that on pressed set the value to be true and then we go to the play on the released we want to run the same thing but this case in this case we want to set the value to be false and the execution then goes to reverse well basically just like we did previously except for now we have a different event which is rep, uh, which is setting our boolean values so now with this being done we can compile and save this and this actually fixes the issue that i noticed in the previous video uh, that the when we aim and look around the other characters don't really see us looking the, the in different directions uh, so now with replicating the use controller job value this issue should be fixed so let's try to pick up a weapon so now when we have a weapon we can walk up to the other characters you can see we have a weapon let's unequip the weapon animations go back to normal if we now look around the character is rotating but but the issue is we ourselves are not rotating so we're gonna fix that in a second let's now equip a rifle you can see there we go a rifle is in our arms and we are looking around and we can shoot our gun so let's fix this issue that well our character is no longer following us and the fix is super super simple uh, for the rotation all we want to do is we want to select the capsule component so the base component of this uh, character scroll down in the details panel and we want to replicate this component the issue is that we are not replicating this capsule and then when we look around while we are aiming uh, we are rotating the capsule but since it is not replicated it doesn't really show up also if you are doing some strange effects with your character or whatever you probably want to replicate the character component as well since by default it is not replicated uh, so yeah keep an eye on that if you are doing anything to any of these components make sure they, that they are replicated because by default only the well the actor itself is getting replicated its movement is getting replicated but the specific components are not really getting replicated so uh, make sure to keep an eye out for that so that's going to be basically it for today's video hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something new uh, keep on developing amazing games uh, keep watching my videos we are closing in on 5000 subscribers so that is really close and i hope to see you in the next video